<laughs> let me get my chair. Let me get my chair all situated and get all pushed up here. Hello, hello, hello. You're here for an hour and a half. Good to, good to have you here. Hey, Angelica. Did you get your package yet? I hope you did. If not, it should be there soon. So welcome to everybody. So glad to have you here. And I really appreciate your support. And I would ask that while you're here, keep your chat friendly, upbeat, and friend helpful. If you have any questions, put it in all caps. I'll do my best to answer that question. If it's something to do with my store, use the contact me form on my website. Some things I can answer here, but if it has pertaining to your particular order or something like that, do check that out. That way I kind of have a, an email record that I can email you back. And so we can keep that. Thank you so much, Regina. It's it's smooth today. I don't know if you can see. I can change the zoom. I guess I could do that. And then y'all could see that uh, she put purple in it and then blue on the bottom. So she kind of did a little differently today. Uh, remember, if you're watching this video as a replay, if you go just below here, there's a little gear. You can click on that and change the speed to two times the speed so you can get through it faster. Do share this video with others if you find it helpful. And of course, I always say this, but I want to keep saying it. Anytime you find anything helpful by anybody on the internet, share it. That way other people can find it. It helps us creators, content creators, to be found if you share it. So don't be shy, share it. And of course, if you have any comments or questions even after this video is done aired and it's in the recorded session or sec or recorded session, I guess you could say, uh, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. All right. Linda goes punk hair kind of. Yeah, kind of. Um you do earn bunks Junk bucks is what we call them. Every time you come to the live stream, you can check how many you have by typing exclamation point bucks. Once you have 2,000, you can redeem them for a $10 off coupon. And you earn junk bucks just by being here. You also earn it if you play the in chat games. They cost you 10 junk bucks, but you could win, who knows? It, it's like gambling, so it's miscellaneous. You also earn junk bucks when you make a donation. I am looking for $40 in donations today. I will show you part of what we're going to have at the end. So I made these little envelope um, pockets. I don't know. Uh, G Kerr, I think G a Kerr, G Kerr is the one that I got the idea from and I made these and I haven't done anything with them, but they're little pockets inside. They're kind of like passport, if you will, envelopes. Each one's a little bit different. And we will raffle these off at the end. And then I am going to complete a journal that I started uh, using a few mixed media pages. We're going to show you how that is put together. And then we will raffle that off at the end. Remember that when you make a donation, you also get a chance to win the journal or items at the end. As well as a discount in my shop. And you get my free digital downloads that I have in the shop. And on Black Friday, those of y'all that I will be uh, having a uh, discount available to those who make donations or are subscribed to one of my subscription products in my shop. There's going to be a super, uh, a bigger discount there. All right. All right. Thank you so much for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. I didn't see... Did somebody make a donation and I didn't see it? I apologize. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, we'll also have um, a Christmas peacock is coming up. I hope to start showing you how to put it together on Monday, per se. I'm waiting on a couple more components because I'm hoping to list it in the shop early. Normally, I don't list it until the last week of the month, which would be last Monday, which is Thanksgiving weekend or week. So I should uh, have it up hopefully before that, and I'm hoping to ship it soon. Thank you, Robin, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I'm hoping to ship it sooner. Um, so be on the lookout for that. All right, so... I posted the other day through my uh, what's on my desk is what I've been sharing online and I showed a page that I had made so I'm just going to kind of show this to you. I kind of basically had a page laid out. I had things laying in the corners. 
this is an addition i added this purple piece that wasn't in the photo and i made this a tuck spot so we could use it so someone asked me if i had a tutorial on how to make this page and that's what we're going to do right off the bat and then we'll move into some gel printing and that kind of stuff okay all right so let me grab all right, so here's what I did for that page. I used it. Thank you so much, Tiger Lily, for your donation. Thank you so much. Uh, for this little journal that I am make, making today, I'm using a 5x7 journal card as the cover. That's what I'm going to use as the base. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, Sherry, for your donation as well. And this is the journal that we're going to raffle off at the end once we have the cover made and a couple of pages that I want to make. Thank you so much for your donation. So I cut a piece of paper that is just shy, not completely as big, but around seven inches by 10, just inside that, just so it's a little bit smaller. And then I grabbed a dictionary page. I don't know how big it is for sure, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six and a half inches by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and a half inches is how big this is. And I've just got a piece of paper here. I normally don't do it on paper because it acts weird because of the texture, but I'm doing it so that I can pull it away and not have a big mess on my desk. Oh, and if you haven't already joined the raffle, it's for 200 junk bucks, so it gets you on your way if you don't have a lot of junk bucks, or if you're really close to 2,000, you could win 200 today. All right, so I'm going to take some acrylic paint, and I've got one of these a gift card. This happens to be a casino card, and I'm going to apply a little bit of paint to this dictionary page and my goal is oh i guess i have a I have a booger all right there we go Ooh, that's probably way too much paper all right so all i'm doing is i'm coating this paper let's get some of this paint off okay i don't like the way it's acting all right we're going to do this differently i was going to use it on this paper so i wouldn't have to clean off my desk but i'm going to do it this way all right and I guess I don't like this card. Maybe that's what the problem is. I don't like this card. Let's put that in here. Let's get a new one. There we go. I want it smooth. That one had some paint or something stuck on it. So I'm just smoothing this over the whole page. And now you can go heavier if you don't want to see the text. If you want just a little hint of that text behind, just do a very thin coat of acrylic paint i'm not using gesso i don't like using gesso on pages that i plan to write on i prefer uh, the acrylic paint so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to dry this really fast linda's my zip code is too short should be 73099 is my zip code okay so uh, vintage honey the raffle is a free thing that I do at the beginning of my video at the end I'll have one that only donators can participate in but you type exclamation point raffle and you'll be entered in and then we'll do a drawing here in a little bit and that person will be named then as far as the boss fight and FFA those are what we call in chat games and you earn virtual currency here junk bucks those games cost you 10 junk bucks to participate in but who knows you could win nothing you could win 17 junk bucks you could win on one of them a possibility of like 150 junk bucks it's just kind of a little bit of gambling kind of fun hey michelle welcome 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 i got your order thank you got your order thank you Ah, oh, gotcha. 73099. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all right here behind me. Robin just said that if you make an ornament and send it to me at my address, it's the 818 West Main Street, Yukon, Oklahoma, I will show it on the live stream and you will be awarded 200 junk bucks. And then at the end, I will do a drawing from all of those people who sent something. You'll get a cool little prize. All right. All right, so I just went ahead and did that. And I, I don't think I said Christy. Hey, Christy, how are you? 
and hey crafty blind girl and barb and mary and julie michelle and angelica and mona hello welcome 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 hey mary all right so i pretty much got that dry so i'm gonna go ahead and get my um, spray box out i'm closing that up because i had paint everywhere and oh, i've got paint all over my desk i forgot i need to wipe that up we gotta clean it up because it's gonna bug me get my my cheap sprayer i need to buy some more of these sprayers all right and then i'm just wipe this up okay that's what i like about these craft mats you can just wipe them right up okay so we got that wiped up and throw that down here now here is my spray box and this is the next step that I did to make that background is I took from the Christmas Peacock set that purpley color and we're going to just spritz this page. I'm going to use my heat tool and dry it. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody doing good? You know, like how you can see the, the script through it or the text through it? Yeah! I like it because, you know, you can still write over it. It's not going to obscure your writing. Um, you're using your junk that you have. You can use your junk mail. Use old book pages. Yeah, it's just, yeah, easy to clean a cloth mat, for sure. Okay, so this is almost dry. There's going to be a little bit of a resistance. That's why we're getting these little white dots. Because we're using acrylic paint with the Tattered Angels, and I like that effect. I like how it's just kind of messy, and in my opinion, it kind of gives you that a water-damaged, old, vintage look, but we're doing it in color. Instead of doing it in, you know, browns and tea stain and coffee colors, we're doing it in brighter colors. Yeah, I'm doing well! Thank you, thank you! Alright, so this is... I feel... <laughs> This is the stencil that's going to be in the Christmas peacock set. Can y'all tell that those are fe uh, peacock feathers? So I'm just going to lay this on top of our painted page. It's already been sprayed once with Tattered Angels. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Christmas Cheer. No, is that the color I used? I have to look at it. What did I do? No, it was blue. It was this color, Christmas Blue. So that's the color. Yeah, it's kind of a cool effect, isn't it? All right, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to spritz over the top. I'm trying not to be too heavy-handed because it'll kind of, the way this design is, if you spray too much, it'll puddle. And we don't want it to puddle. I'm just taking a copy paper and I'm just going to mop up what's on top of the stencil. Basically, you get two for one. You know, when you spray on a stencil, it's going to resist. Well, instead of just wiping it up with like a towel or something, use a piece of paper, and then you've got a ready-made journal page. Isn't that kind of cool how that came out? And then let me move this back over here. So you can see that obscured feather pattern now. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah, that's how we do it. Hey, Norella, Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so I'm going to dry that a little bit. I'm getting my tools out. Uh, that's the stencil that will be in a Christmas peacock. That's the stencil that will be in the Christmas peacock. You know what, Crafty Blind Girl, when you order from me, if you order stuff that has to go into a box, that box is the perfect size. <laughs> All right, do you like that effect, how that came out? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of paper, and I'm going to mark where the halfway mark is, and I'm going to cut it in half. Put these back out of the way. So now I have two pieces. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper here. 
and I've got the snowflake border stamp from Beeline Designs and I'm just going to stamp this at the top and the bottom so there's one and then here is two I'm gonna rotate it and just so happen that this fits down the side I'm just gonna rotate it and do that again all right so it makes a nice little border right off the bat so we're getting a little bit of you know that winter feel we've got the peacock yeah, you'll need a, so you didn't get a big box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you get a, when you do a bigger order, or if you have to get Tattered Angels or one of my kits, that size of box is a good size for a spray box, I think, anyway. A lot, a lot of my friends have been using it. All right, so we just stamped all the way around. Don't need this anymore. I'm going to put it away. Linda's going to try to do a good job of putting stuff away today. Now, what I'll do next is go ahead and grab my distress ink i'm using walnut stain you could use whatever you like some people like to use the distress oxides whatever you want to use uh, people have used um chalk they have used pastels you know you don't have to i just like the way that it kind of gives it a little bit more of a vintage flair so we got those two pieces all right, so this is going to be my foundation, and it's a Bible page. This was a dictionary page. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half, like so. And then I'm going to grab a paintbrush. So I got a paintbrush, and I'm going to grab, was it Christmas cheer? Is that what I want? I have to look at my pages, yeah. So I'm going to grab some Christmas cheer, and I'm shaking it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take this and pour it into one of these little wells. This is a technique that I thought I'd share with y'all. I did a picture of it. So you want around the outside edge a different color, but if you spray the whole page, you're kind of wasting product. But if you take a paintbrush, I'm going to dip in a little bit of water so it's a little damp, and then I'm going to pick up some color, and then I'm just going to go right here on the edges and it goes so fast when you're doing this and I'm not worried about if there if I get tattered angels somewhere else because I am going to cover up that middle portion I just wanted the edges to have that purple and I'm gonna go ahead and just go right down the middle and this way and I got more tattered angels than I needed but I want to show you one other technique while I've got that out. Okay, so I just went around that really fast. And I'm just gonna let that dry. And while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna grab, what did I do with it? I'm gonna grab a little piece of lace. So I'm gonna get my scissors out. Someone had asked me about coloring lace and this is one way that I do it. You can um, spray it if you want and flip it over and that kind of stuff. Well, I'm going to use my paintbrush and daub it onto that lace. So I'm not using as much, in my opinion, Tattered Angels, but I can make sure that it's really getting soaked all the way through and this is a, what I call a synthetic it's not a cotton lace it's probably a nylon lace all right so there's this side so I'm just gonna flip it over and make sure it's done all the way through and then dry it that's it it's gonna dry a little bit lighter if you want it darker go with another layer of tattered angels let me clean up my mess here I'm gonna get my tweezers out that I just had. All right, now all right, we'll just use these. Put that right there. I didn't want to get my fingers in. I did get my nails done, so I got little snowflakes on my nails. I already got paint all over them. <laughs> okay, I'm just wiping this up. And basically, like I said, 
would dry that. I'm not going to dry it right now. I'm just going to set this aside. I'll show you what one looks like in a moment. Okay. So now that we've got this part, let's dry it just a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's easier, you know, when you're doing something like that. Yeah, I got clean the area of paint drops. Yep, I should have done it with a piece of paper, but that's okay. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, yellow paper apples. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, we haven't used the shabby stitches in a while. I'm, I'm trying different things. Thank you, Barb, for your donation. Thank you. Thank you, Crafty Blonde Girl. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Vintage Tony. I think it's dry enough for what we're doing here okay so then all I did was I took these pages that I just made and I'm gonna grab my Aline's tacky glue and we're gonna glue them down now you could uh, sew them into place if you want thank you Lynn for your donation hey make sure that you create a user account on my website and use the contact me form all of you that are donating that way I can add you to the discount group so you get a discount and when I have freebies free digital downloads you can download those all right so all I'm gonna do is put this down now if I was really careful I could take one of these and kind of hold this up to the light line it up and then they would be perfectly matched back to back. You've seen me do this in other tutorials. And then you could zigzag stitch. Sewing around one side at a time. And it would show through on the back side. But today, I think I'm just going to go over here and glue this down right there. Okay. You're welcome, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to take this and glue it down. All right, and then paste it right here. All right, so now we've basically got writing space right there. We can use our pen to write on here. Uh, gel pens, felt tip pens work really well. Thank you, Jim B, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's one of the pages right there. I'm going to leave this side blank for right now. We're going to come back to it later because we're going to do some mixed media stuff on paint and making some, uh, we'll do some gel printing today. Gonna get my words out. All right. So I'm grabbing my gel plates and let's put, put one right about watching the camera see how where I've got it positioned wise do I ever get bumps whenever I am gluing thin paper down I I put such a little amount of glue that I don't um, it's just a technique of learning how to uh, play with the glue. I don't know if y'all can see that that's pretty smooth. And I usually found that if you smooth it gently as you're putting it down, it helps distribute that glue. But if you're gluing and you've got a huge, let me grab a, I'll just grab a scrap here. So if you're gluing, you want it to be super, oh, I got a, oh thank you craft balling girl. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you. Hey, Chris, I so see you here. Hello, hello, hello. From Greece, she says. All right, so you don't want glue like that. Can you see that that's a big line of glue there? You want it where I touch the paper and it is barely there. You can't even see that it is raised up. So this is too much glue. This is the perfect amount of glue. <laughs> <laughs> so don't use as much glue today we're looking for forty dollars jennifer i've got um these three little envelope folder thingy boppers and then i'll have one little journal chill plate alert 
I'll have one little journal, and this is what part of it looks like. Okay, sneak peek. All right, cover that up. All right, we got gel plate. Gel plate is mono printing, is what we call it. The idea is, um, you're going. The concept is, you get one print per thing. There's lots of ways. If you don't have a gel plate, you know, you just got to think in reverse order of what I'm doing on the gel plate when you go direct to paper. Okay. Yeah, not, not, not the top glue. Yeah, don't do too much. <laughs> it takes practice. Yeah, just, a, and if you're using on the glue, sorry, sidetrack, squirrel. Um, I have found this cap, which normally comes on the turbo or the tacky glue. And sometimes you can find it on the bigger bottles of tacky glue. I like this smaller bottle. It's easier to handle. Um, for the longest time, I used to carry, used to do the 16 ounce, but it gets hard to squeeze. So I found this smaller bottle and I take the bigger bottles and refill the little bottle. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jennifer, for your donation. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let me grab my brayer. My brayer. It gets kind of gunky, but that's okay. There's some crusty bits on my gel plates. I don't worry about those. Um, if I wanted to, I could gently take these to the sink and wash them off. But sometimes those little bits add neat character as you're pulling. Okay. Yeah, gel prints, not hell prints, right, Kristen? <laughs> All right, I think what I want to do right off the bat is I didn't pre-paint a bunch of pages this time. So we're just going to print on um, some copy paper and book pages. I've got two different sizes. I have the 8 by 10 and a 5 by 7 over here. You use a shot glass to set your glue. That's awesome. I have a jar that when I have a different size bottle that doesn't have that cap, I'll put it in here. So that's what I do sometimes. Squirrel. <laughs> all right. Oh, and I forgot to show you all these. I'm not going to wear them today, but I'll show them to you so we can be prepared. Because, you know, some people are like, it's not that time of year yet. So they don't want to, to see any of that. So... This is, can you see? I got to duck down. Do you like my little elf hat? <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. I'll be wearing this a little bit more later on. I didn't want to wear it too soon because people are like, it's not even Thanksgiving and you're already doing Christmas stuff. <laughs> yes, Christy was on there. I saw it. Yeah, it's easy. They do not make an eight and a half by 11 gel plate, Rhonda. They make a, uh, thank you, Jennifer, a 12 by 12 if you want to get bigger. Okay. Yes, yeah, squirrel. Okay, let's squirrel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let's go down with some gold paint. I've got two different kinds of paint. I've got some heavy body uh, artist paint, and then I've got some crafting paint. Yeah, and they're funny. I found it at a uh, Dollar Tree. I found it at Dollar Tree here in in Yukon. They had them for a dollar. <laughs> they had them with red, and they had them in the green. And I decided I wanted the green. All right. So what I'm doing now is I am just coating this plate with gold acrylic paint, and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of brayer over here. It won't be as dark, so I'm just put some on there, and I'm gonna clean off my brayer. I'm gonna grab a stencil, and this time let's use the. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the feather stencil. And I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. Oh, not that one. That was my instructions. Now I may be too dry, and I may have waited too long, but I'm trying to lift the paint. That is the feathers and that on the open areas. And rubbing it, rubbing. All right, so there, and we'll do something with this later. Look at the gold feathers on there. Isn't that pretty? So we can spray this with tattered angels and change that page. All right, so we've got feather paint.
patterns on here. We're going to have gold in this area. So let's pick um, a couple of colors here. I'm going to grab this tealy color. I'm going to put some right there. And I've got this blue. Got crusty bits. Crusty bits. And I've got a different shade of teal. I'm putting it on the stencil right now because I'm going to brayer it over the whole thing. And I don't want there to be pools because sometimes it'll happen. It'll get a little pools. <laughs> hey, Mala! Thanks. It's so good to see you. Okay, so it's time for the freebie raffle. So if you haven't already joined the raffle, please do so. All right, and I'm just kind of blending this across. The two different, the three different colors that I picked. Okay. Trying to make sure it gets down into those stencil designs carefully. All right, then I'm going to clean off my brayer. And I'm going to try this today. I'm going to try putting this on here and see what happens. a little bit on there and we'll let that dry okay so now what we do is you let this dry for a moment when you're gel printing the idea is that you're putting these layers of paint down and in order to get them all to lift they have to be a little bit dry and you add more paint to the back side and then you can lift the whole thing you're gonna watch it later Julie okay this is the stencil that comes with the Christmas peacock Robin's being attacked by squirrels. All right, so if everybody's entered the raffle, I can uh, do that now. And getting, I'm getting a prize. Did Dawn, I do, yeah, Barb Dingwell, she had $2. We have Robin Finnessy for $5. Tiger Lily for $5. Christy for $5. Sherry Deskins for $2. Barb Dingwell for $2. Lynn Lingle for $2. Jen B for $3. Crafty Blind Girl for $2. And Jennifer Smith for $2. Does that help? Bye, Julie. Have a good day. You just love gel printing? I'm glad you love it. I love too sometimes. It's so fun. Okay, so I'm going to go to the giveaway. Got it, Robin. Okay. Pick a winner. Regina! <laughs> you get 200 more junk bucks towards your next coupon code. I'll award that later. But if you're really close and you want your 200 junk bucks, just let Robin know so I can get that done today. All right, the next prize is going to be tag by Cynthia. I think that's right. I think I spelled that wrong. Cyn Cynthia. I think that's how you spell her name. I always get her name wrong. Okay. This is a tag that Cynthia made. I probably have it spelled wrong, so I apologize because for some reason spelling doesn't want to work today for me. <laughs> so I've got this little tag that she made. Looks like she's used um, a safety envelope, a security envelope on the back. There's some graph paper. Maybe she's used a piece of packaging because it's kind of thick in the middle. She's got some little tags here that were either printed or maybe a kit or something. And she's got a little quote. So we're going to do this. That's our next prize. It's a great big tag. And probably I've now let this sit long enough that if I put paint on it, I should be able to get it to lift. Because this is gold in here, I'm trying to decide how best I want it to pull. And I think what I'm going to do this time, we're going to try white. What the, the ivory should do is help the gold and that teal blue colors pop on the paper. Hey, uh, Marin, you won 110 junk bucks. Good job on that boss fight or FFA. I don't remember. FFA. All right, so now I'm going to quickly brayer this acrylic paint over the back, trying to make sure that I've got a good even coat over the whole gel plate. But you don't want too much paint because you get too much and then it becomes a mushy mess. I'm going to go ahead and grab a copy paper. 
and I'm gonna lay that down on top. I kind of center it as best as I can. If I want to use the whole sheet eight and a half by 11, then I could put washi tape or paint those edges if I want to. All right, so I'm just gonna smooth that down. I'm gonna go ahead and put some acrylic paint over here on this bad boy. There's a little, oh, well, there was a little crusty bit in there, piece of paper. All right, now this one's going to be a little bit lighter. It's not going to be near as dark as the one over here because I was doing a transfer. So I'm just going to lay a book page down. All right. All right, so let's lift this. Now I've got a little bit of ghosting because I probably didn't have enough paint, but that's okay. See how that turned out? That's kind of cool. I think next time I want to use the gold though, because the white kind of shows through in a few areas, but it's kind of cool. All right, let's do this one. You've never used it, Jennifer? Well, get it out and play. Yeah, the lighter one is pretty. It should be. We'll see. Oh, this is kind of cool. The text has transferred to the gel plate. So here is the other one. So you kind of get that metallic because I did the gold and then laid the stencil on top. So you kind of get that ghosty effect. So that should be a pretty element to use. All right, well, let's add some more paint. I think I want to do um, a couple more stencils here. All right, I've got it. I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm okay with this being on there because when I put my other layers of paint on, it'll lift and it'll give that a neat effect on there. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You love it. Thank you. Silver and purple, Lou Ellen says. Um, let me see. Do I have silver out? I don't see the silver. Silver. All right, so I'm going to put some silver down. Okay. Plum and teal. I've got a few colors laid out here that I want to use today, so we'll, we'll try to get to them. All right, I've got a pretty good amount of paint, so I'm going to lay this stencil. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over. No, I'm not. I was going to do it over there, and I changed my mind. I'm just going to lay that down. I'm going to grab a piece of paper, and we're going to lift up through that paper. All right, I'm going to find something to make a mark on here. Here we go. Let's just kind of... It's just making designs in that, okay? And it's just uh, an acrylic block that I stuck some fun foam on. So that's going to be drawing. And this should have picked up most of the paint in the little grid areas. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. All right. So now we have this kind of pattern. You see the pattern there? Is that kind of cool? All right. Now we've got the void here and let's add some paint. I wanted purple. So I'm going to get, uh, I've got this shade of purple. Let me grab another. So I got both here. So I'm going to open these up. So a little on there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and grayer this out. And I'm going to lay this over here.
and I'm kind of mixing the paints together so we're getting this ombre effect and you get a little workout you know just kind of rolling it back and forth I'm a gel printing gel printing <laughs> I know I'm silly all right so I'm just gonna take my stencil off and I'm gonna toss it over here in some water that I have to the side and that stencil is from the November stencil club the no I was late in getting the images I keep forgetting to update the images I have the stencils picked and then I forget to put them up there <sighs> Thank you, Vintage Honey. All right, dry my hands a little bit. I'm going to see if I can get this lifted. I'm letting this dry for a moment. So now we got this unusual print here with the silver and everything. And there's still stuff on there. So let's add some more color to it while we're waiting on this one. I'm going to add a little bit of... Let's add this teal and maybe a darker blue and let's cover this I think this time I've got enough paint that when I go to lift it it should all come up all the bits we'll see okay so could I could I show a way to use one of Norella's small digital elements on a mixed media or gel print background yes I can do that in fact that's what we're going to be doing here in just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Norella. <laughs> you like that stencil? That's part of the um, November Stencil Club. I hand drew that. Okay, yeah, I can show that, Austin. That's what my plan is. I'm making these gel prints so we can use them here in just a little bit. All right, so this one should come up. It still has some crusty bits, but I like the colors. Isn't that kind of cool? You're getting some metallics. You're getting the blue, a little bit of purple in the background. It's just a, a neat background. All right, we'll let that dry. This is still really wet looking that I can see. So what I'm going to do is load up this gel print of pl plate over here. If I could get my words out. And let's see. Um... How we're going to do this teal, so I'm going to coat that with the teal. Alright, I'm cleaning off the brayer. I'm going to grab a stencil. Oh, I've got these half sheet stencils. Oh, that one didn't get, it didn't get cleaned. i got to get the little thingies out of it. Come on now. that one have any okay I think it, oh one more Henry tries to clean them out for me but sometimes he misses some and I got to spin them up this is the another stencil from the stencil club so I'm gonna put this over here on this smaller gel plate I'm going to lift that design I think my paper lifted up but that's okay I think this one's almost dry enough hey Liz welcome all right so I got that it moved on me a little bit but that's the pattern it made and that kind of cool I guess it could go this way either way all right so I've already lifted some paint off we used a teal so let's use a purple on top and let's mix in a little bit of a lighter purple and do these together. So 
I'm adding that purple right on top there. It's going to be a thin amount, but I think it'll look good. All right, so I'm going to take the stencil off. I'm going to put it in my water bath and clean off my brayer. I'm going to let this dry for a moment. I like the way that came together. It looks pretty good. All right, I think this one is ready. Since we did the original color with silver, I think I want to go ahead and do silver again so that any area where the paint lifted when I remove the stencil will fill back in. And then it'll just give it a nice sheen of metallic on here. That's still a little wet, but... Sometimes that happens when you use the two different kinds of paint together. All right, I'm going to grab a piece of paper and then lay it down and then try not to smoosh it. You just want to smooth it and make sure that paper is really adhering to, to the paint. You want that stencil yellow paper, Apples? Well, that's part of my November Stencil Club. Robin just shared it. It's $19.99 a month plus shipping, and you get a 20% discount on other stencils in my shop when you order. And uh, you can cancel at any time. So if you only want to do it for a month, you can. If you want to go back and you say you want May's Stencil Club, just tell me you want May when you place your order, and I'll send you the May one. Okay. All right, I'm going to let that set and really soak in, and then I'm going to put some paint over here. Let's see. I think I want metallic gold because the gold will kind of show through in a couple of areas where the paint lifted earlier, sort of. It'll kind of give a frame around some of the design. I hope. That's, that's my plan. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's nice and gold there. Clean off my brayer, grab a book page. How are we doing on time? How long do y'all want me to stay on today? It's on junk paper. It's just junk paper. It's book pages over here to the side. I'll do a couple swipes like that. And then I'll, I'm, I'm rotating it so I can do this side. And then I'll put it aside. And I've got another one ready to go below it. Okay. Okay. This one is November. November. This is November. Both of these are from November. And there's one more. This is the other design. That's for November. Three hours? <laughs> you can stay longer? Okay. I got the time if you got the crafts. All right, then. I just want to make sure. You get four stencil designs on three eight and a half by 11 stencil pieces. What do you think? I like it. There's a little bit of that feather pattern kind of coming through over here. Just a little bit. So we've got some gold along with the silver. Isn't that kind of cool? <clears throat> okay. 24 hours, Austin says. Thank you so much, Sam. Ooh, I like it. Good choice with the gold on the back. You see that? Isn't that cool? I'm so glad. I drew that, y'all. I drew that design. <laughs> I've been saving it. I thought it would look really good with the Peacock Christmas kit. You like it? All right, well, I'm going to get the stencils out of the water bath. So I might use them again and show you the patterns again. Okay. Just kind of rinsed it off a little bit. Got the next one. And I just take a towel and lay over the top of it. 
Because basically I'm just want to get the majority of the paint. You love it? Yay! Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so there's one. I'm just going to set it back over here. I'm going to go ahead and get the feather one out that we used earlier. And dry it off. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. We cleaned those off. Let's use this one now. So what colors? Let's go with some pink this time. I haven't used any pink yet. So I'm going to put a little bit of pink down. And I've got another shade of pink here. Oh, crusty bits. I always forget. Don't open your bottle of paint over your gel blank. All right. We got those. Get you get crusty bits here and there. I got a piece of fiber, like a a uh, paintbrush fiber. All right, so I'm just gonna fill this in. So it's kind of not all one shade of pink. We got a couple of shades here. All right, I'm gonna clean off my briar. I'm gonna grab the stencil and lay that over here. And I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and rub it to remove some paint where that stencil design is. Okay, I'm going to grab one of the other half stencils. So there's this side of this other, oh, there's still bits in it, of the other half stencil. So this is how the stencil comes. You get two designs on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. I was cutting them in half, and then I had some people say, no, leave them together. So that's what I've been doing. You can cut them in half if you want. Yeah, tissue or piece of junk. That's a wise idea. Welcome to the live. So glad to have you here. Oh, yeah, you, you were a moderator, but Rhonda, because you donated a prize, and uh, I made you a moderator so you could share a link. What do you think? Isn't that kind of cool? I like it. Pesky, crusty bits. And then this one. Look kind of cool. Alright, so we've got that. Now what color? I think I'm going to do a teal and the lighter teal. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I like it already. I'm doing the little plate first because it will usually take less time to dry. And that way I can go ahead and really make sure I've got enough paint on this one. I like it. Paint, 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 paint. We're painting away. All right, I'm just going to peel that up, put that in the water, and we'll let it dry. <laughs> oh, Rhonda. 
Thank you, Liz, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so it's we've been on for an hour. I've got a few pages made while we're waiting on these to dry. So we made these two right off the bat. And then this was the smaller one that we made. And we made this one with crusty bits. We made this one. I think what I want to do is the ones that don't have any color, we're going to spray those in a minute with some tattered angels. And we got this one. We made this one. We made these. Oh yeah, and this one. I think this is one of my favorites. I think this one is going to get scanned in and become a digital. It'll be this way, but I may go ahead and try to crop it and put two on a page. I don't know. We'll play with it. All right, so this should be pretty dry. We're going to make a few more gel prints. Then we're going to pick some of those and... Uh, We'll make a couple journal pages. The Sam, the feathers are part of a Christmas peacock. The feathers are part of my subscription box. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who's up for a $5 challenge? What are you talking about? What kind of challenge is that? Your pants. <laughs> Angelica, have you forgotten English? <laughs> Thank you. You like the feathers? Thank you. All right. I think, I think this is about dry. All right. And we did that gold on this one. This one doesn't have as many holes. And there won't be as much gold on the other side. But I think I'm going to go ahead and try putting gold paint on these to lift them. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. It will be available in a year. <laughs> yes, Sam. Enter the raffle if you haven't already to be able to win this little tag. Okay. And I'm going to put the paint down and then we can lift these. My paint underneath is still a little wet. But I think it's still going to lift okay. Oh, did I leave Facebook open? Sorry, y'all. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Sometimes I leave Facebook open and then it dings on my computer. Oh, need five dollars? We're we're five dollars away from the goal. Yay! Hey Karen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody get in the raffle. Get in the raffle. I'm gonna apply paint on this and then we'll pick. Okay. Anybody got enough points to get their coupon today? And this is the this is the Brayard page. Isn't that kind of cool? I'll just set this over here to the side and we'll do something with it some other time. All right. So I'm just coating this now with the gold paint. I've got, it was a lot drier, so it's in better shape, I think. And I'm going to clean off my brayer again. Somebody's messaging me. Okay. And I'm going to grab a book page. And stick that down. Okay. You plead, plead. Gotcha, Mala. I understand. You can also use the uh, super chat if you want. Thank you, Karen. Or you can use the uh, stream lab. Stream labs, I get a better. Uh, percentage the one through YouTube they take 30 percent 
All right, so let's pick a winner of our raffle. Everybody in? Everybody in? Thank you, Karen, so much for your donation. All right, so let's do the next one. And pick a winner. Christy! Christy Johnson! You won the tag! You won the tag! All right, now let me find another prize. Oh, here we go. I'm using this. I'm re-gifting this. Um, uh, Carrie Kale gave this to me. There's some Tim Holtz ideology stickers. There's 295 stickers in here that are all different types of phrases. You know, it says like, within my heart, sweetheart, upon a shore, the big moon shines in the sky, those kind of things. Thank you, Polly, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Um, so it's, it's kind of cool. So we're going to do that as the next one. Congratulations, Christy. Thank you. Reset. Yes. Um, Tim Holtz words. So anybody, thank you, Carrie, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And y'all enter the raffle to win these Tim Holtz words that are via Carrie. So thank you, Carrie, because Carrie sent me the gel plate and the stickers, I believe, in because she ordered it from Amazon off of my wish list. I do have an Amazon wish list. Um, if you are ever interested in supporting me in that way by you know, getting a tool that you want me to um, show how to use, I'll do that. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Don't enter, Angelica. Angelica wants the words, y'all. You can't enter. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, let's see how this turned out. I think I've left it on here quite a while. The longer you leave it down and it's adhered to the gel plate, then it will get all the layers of paint up. But you've got to leave it on for a while. And sometimes I'm impatient. And it's gotten almost all the layers up. We have a little sticker spot. Because we have a little spot. What do you think? I like it with doing the goal behind we still had some other colors on the edge just a little bit i think that's really cool you like it i think that would be a good one to scan in i think that would really be pretty i like it a lot let's see what this one looks like oh and this is so cool you see that it's kind of a, a lattice, kind of, you know, real vintage-y, kind of thinks, makes me think of royalty, you know, like a panel you would see with the gold. Yeah, if you leave it really a long time, if you've got spots, it can stick. All right, I'm going to get that off. Let's do that. I'm just getting a wet wipe, and I'm going to add a little more water to it. There was a couple of spots on here that just weren't lifting and it was making a white spot on the paper because it wasn't printing at all. So, I made it go away just by using a wipe. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> no, my problem is if I did it, it would go up my nose. Hey, Mariana. Hey. Oh, yay. No leaks. That's awesome, Mariana. That's awesome. All right. So let's do some more gel printing. Right? What color? What color? What color? What color? I like the way these came out with the purple and the pink and the teal all right i think i think i want to do the teal again whoop that was a lot okay I got a lot of paint. 
So I'm going to kind of go over here and work it on this little one. And I've got... Oh yeah, I've got that stencil. We need to do that one. Okay, I'm getting other stencils out. More stencils! Okay, on this one, I'm going to use the Retro Panel 2 stencil. And... I'm going to lift that because this is going to take a long time dry. <laughs> I put a lot of paint on here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Isn't that cool? Put that over here. And then let's finish mixing these. Mm. There's a lot of mushy plate on paint on the gel plate. I'm trying to remove a little bit of paint just by rolling the brayer over it and then running my brayer over my scrap of paper. Okay. All right, did I miss anything? Have I tried to stencil on fabric with my stencils? No, not really. If I were to do it, I would do them as a gel plate. Um, what you can do is you can put the designs down like we're doing, and then um, you can print on fabric instead of paper. So you can do the same thing, and when I go to put paper down, put down a piece of fabric, and it'll lift the paint. All right, so I'm going to lay this stencil here. This is the Royal Peacock stencil. I have a few of these kits available in my shop, but I will be adding this stencil to my shop for those that are subscribers that didn't get it the last time. You'll be able to get it with the peak, uh, Christmas Peacock Stence, uh, Club. Gosh, the subscription box. I can't talk now all of a sudden. So I'm just lifting that teal paint now. Okay. Robin left. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. So I just lifted that onto the page. What do you think? Kind of cool. So now what I want to do is I want a little bit of purple. So I'm going to put a little bit of purple down. And I've got some gold. I'm going to put the gold right in it. Because what will happen, it will kind of make that purple a little bit metallic. So just kind of mix in the paint. And then what I'll do when I go to pull this, I'll do more gold paint. All right, so I'm going to lift this and let that set for a moment. Okay. And then over here, we're going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to put down some purple paint and a little bit of gold. Not a lot, just a little. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Okay. How are we doing on time? It's 1.30. So I need to spend probably about um, 30 minutes working on the actual journal with the gel prints. And I think, I think I'm about ready to switch to working on uh, coloring the pages that we lifted. And then we'll make a, uh, a couple of journal pages. Thank you, Mariana, for your donation. Thank you. 
You're welcome. <laughs> Had to wash the hands. Were you getting messy, Robin? <laughs> When I am done with my brayer, I stick it in soapy water, and then I'll take it to the sink, and I'll just kind of rub on it, and I'll have a little brush, and I'll kind of scrubby it, and it gets it mostly clean. This is still really wet. I guess what I could do is, uh, Austin was saying that he wanted me to make something. I'm going to take this gel print, I'm going to place it in my spray box, and I'm going to grab, let's see here, if I do this pink, we should get a cool effect. So I've got the Christmas cherry, and I'm shaking it up, I'm trying not to set it on top of the gel plate, and waiting on it to uh, dry, so I'm just going to spritz this on the page. And what that's going to do is that background is going to change. And it's also going to add a little purple hue to the gel print and give it a little bit of sparkle. Okay? I'm just going to dry that really fast. So if you do this gel prints like I just did and you don't like the fact that you didn't prep your page, you can pick a color of Tattered Angels that will complement your gel print and spray it. I have, Barb, I haven't put the uh, Christmas colors in my shop yet, but I will be today. I took the pictures. I've got that ready. I've decided I am going to list it early, but they won't ship for a while yet. Somebody's calling me. Hang on just a moment. I got to make sure. Hello? Yes? Yes. Hang on, guys. I am on a live stream right now, Kenny. <laughs> Can can you can I call you back later? Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you. What time? Uh, time okay, before. Thank you. Bye. Uh, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> That's my internet provider that I've been having problems with. So I wanted to take the call. I thought that's who that was. All right, you like it? Kind of cool. All right, so this should be dry. All right, did we answer the question? <laughs> All right. All right. I think I'm ready, and we're going to put gold on this and lift it. This one is still really wet, so we're going to let that sit just a little bit longer. Okay. Real life right there. Sorry, y'all. I would not have taken it, but we have been having terrible internet issues, and so whenever they're calling me, I'm like, yes, I need you. <laughs> So, Robin, remind me to call Kenny back. <laughs> At least that's what he told me his name was. All right. I'm going to lift it. I like it. All right. Well, hopefully they'll get it fixed, Mariana. We're getting closer to it, I think. It's been a, a rough month. <laughs> it's been one month today that I've had internet issues. All right. I think this is almost ready. It's still a little wet, but I'm going to go ahead and put the gold paint down. Thank you so much, Robin. Thank you, Vintage Honey. And Paper Puddles is wanting to know, when does New Word at Scrubby? Okay. Gold paint. i got a tight space here. My paper's trying to get in the way. Alright, let's grab the book page. All right, I think 
But I think I can find, I don't need a whole lot. And I've got some other gel prints here that I'll get out. And we'll start working on the journal that we're making. Okay. Naomi is here. Hello. Hello, hello, Naomi. This is a rare occurrence. Thank you for being here, babe. <laughs> Yay. I'm liking it. All right, so this is, that's the peacock feather. You like it? Ooh, it's pretty. Yeah, uh, Naomi's going to nursing school. Thank you, Vintage Honey. Thank you. And then like this one. I love that. That is awesome. I want to use it today, but I also want to scan it into my computer. <laughs> All right, let's see how many. We've got a few. We can use that one. I think we could use those together. Okay, I think we've got enough gel prints. And I'll save a couple. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take some of these gel prints and we're going to make a journal page or two and a cover. Okay. My uh, mat's coming up. I have it had it taped down, but I guess I've smoothed it a little bit. So there we go. All right, let's put this over here. Let's clean this up a little bit. I'm going to put my briar in my water right now, and then that way it's kind of soaking a little bit. Okay. All right. So now I've got these gel prints and pages that we made. So this is my cover that I'm going to use as a base. Here is my journal so far, and I thought I'd show y'all this part. This is the numbers from the Peacock Christmas. They're smaller numbers, and you'll notice when I flip through, some of them I cut in, some of them I cut as a rounded, and some of them are cut at a diagonal. And what I did was I showed y'all how to color the lace earlier. So this is what it looks like when it's dry. It's still wet in this one. So you can kind of see a little bit of the, it's lightened up just a little bit. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue this down. So I'm going to grab my glue here. Yeah. I'm going to put a little glue right there on the edge and kind of line up my lace all right and then i'm going to go around this area okay and stack these together i got a little i got a little heavy handed on the glue so i'll just kind of wipe it away and i'm going to press this together really well make sure that they're working to come one piece you love the singing. Well, thank you. <laughs> My new word is scrubby. Oh, gotcha, Gary. <laughs> That's what you were doing. I was like, what is she talking about? And I think what I want to do... Yep, it's going to go up here. So I'm going to make this a little cor corner tuck spot by putting glue here and here. And then I'm just going to press that into the corner. So this is the journal pages, okay? I've got a couple here that we can decorate. But that's one way that I use my calico collage with my mixed media, okay? That we showed at the beginning how to make this page. And I've got some more pages here and the cover. So I've got calico collage stuff. So let's see here what we want to do. I've got this page or cover and I want to put something on it. It's a greeting card 
and why not kind of look at this and see what there is that might be interesting to go on the cover. I might spray that one. Maybe we'll use this on the inside a little bit or even piece it together because this might fit over that and I could kind of do that here as well or this one. I think I'll do this one on the front and then maybe what we'll do is we can attach one of those images over the top of it. Hey, Ultimate Arch! Hey, hey! Okay. I think that's what I want to do. I really want to scan that one in, but... Let me see if there's another one. Because we really cover it up. I think I'm going to do that. Because I want to be able... I, I want to save this one. I'm going to save this one. We're going to use some of the others. That I have here. Okay, let's put this over here. I think what I need, oh, is that big enough? Ah, pieces of paper flying everywhere. Oh, I couldn't have done that if I wanted to. I could be a mat for that. All right. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. How do I want to do this? I'm, I'm going to wrap this over the edge, I think. That's what I'm trying to decide if that's what I want to do. I may not like this idea, but if I line this up, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this. All right, so I've got some glue down. I'm going to lay my gel plate print. And I'm just lining it up to make sure that top to bottom, it's pretty much covering. And we're going to press it. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut these corners off. Like that. I'm going to pull this in and see if that doesn't give it a little different look. On the front side. Because it wasn't quite big enough, but I think that gives it a nice enough look. So I'm going to glue this down. Okay. The numbers are in the kit. They're in the kit. They are in the kit. And there's two sizes of the numbers. There'll be a big and a small. And this will be the first time that I'm going to offer a digital download of the subscription box items. That way y'all can reprint them. So that's going to be an option that I'll have. I just got to get the stuff in the shop. Okay, I kind of like that because it gives it a nice look all the way around. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to trim this one down again. All right. How's everybody doing? Yeah.
You're in Shawnee. Oh, how cool. Yeah, I grew up in Meeker. You're in Shawnee. I grew up in Meeker, Oklahoma. That's where I went to high school. So, yeah, we're not too far. If you ever uh, come to the city and you want to head over to Yukon, we can get together. And I also have um, in-person workshops here as well. All right. I think this time... I'm going to go ahead and trim off one edge. And this will butt up against that one, I hope. Okay, that's my plan. Okay. Smoothing it out. Okay. You can use a snack. I know I'm hungry. I didn't eat lunch before I started the stream. I need to figure out something because um, we eat breakfast somewhat late for us, not for most people, because we go work out at the gym first and then we'll come home and eat. So when 12.30 gets here, I'm not really hungry, but by the time 2 o'clock gets here, I'm starving. <laughs> okay. So now, I think I'm going to put some washi tape on that or sew it. But that'll be the cover. And I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to sew it. So I'm going to get my sewing machine. Y'all are lucky. Sewing cam alert. Sewing cam alert. Put that there. <clears throat> do I have power? Uh-oh, I don't have power. Why don't I have power? Maybe we're not going to sew. Well, that's not good. That's going to make me sad if there's something wrong with my sewing machine. technical difficulties yay we have power <laughs> all right we're gonna get the sewing cam ready so here we go all right I gotta I gotta adjust it just a little bit make sure we're in the shot all right, camera, don't don't do me now. Okay, are we where we can see that? All right. All right. So now we're gonna do a zigzag stitch. I've just got a standard needle in my sewing machine. I've got standard thread in there. And I'm just going to go all the way around the outside edge.
so 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 I don't talk a whole lot while I'm sewing because I don't think you can hear me very well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back. Okay, we've got that. So I'm just going to fold this. That's going to be the outside part of our cover. And I think what I want to do is let's layer up. I think we'll put this purple on there. So I'm going to cut this to fit. I hope you get it. I hope you get it. We have reached the goal for the journal today. This is the journal cover that I'm making. So I'm going to put this. Yeah, I think that'll work right about there. I like this. This is the peacock that comes in the large uh, kit, the large journal kit. You can get it as a digital download or you can get it as a physical printed item. I think I like that. I think it needs one more thing. Let's see here. All right, I know I saw let me see if I can find them. Of course, when I want something that has been fallen out of, you know, the space and I had to keep picking it up off the floor, I can't find them now. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Here we go. I think I might be able to, if I had half of this, okay, so I'm going to kind of mark where the halfway point is just so that it's easier when I go to cut it, but for right now I'm going to leave it as a whole piece. And I've got, let me see with this one. This is the brass peacock. All right. My gift cards are always good. Oh yeah, and I'm spraying this with the brass. So it's got a, a little bit of a tea dye effect with gold, a brassy shimmer. So it's kind of pooling in some of the areas. We'll dry this. I'm glad my sewing machine wasn't broken. I was going to be upset, y'all. Oh, yay, Margie. You're, you're so welcome. Congratulations. I'm so glad you got it. Yay. I love it when I hear that y'all get the prizes and you like it. So thank you. Enter the raffle if you haven't already. We're giving away some Tim Holtz words. Hey, it's okay, Sam. Take your time. Take your time. You know, a lot of what I'm doing is because I'm doing repetitive things. When I make my journal pages, you know, I have some items already pre-ready to go. So, yeah, I, you know... I understand it takes some time and right, I think what I want to do is I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine and I'm gonna get a zigzag stitch around that then I'm gonna take this and half of it's gonna go up there and the other half's gonna go down there all right
There is none for four. You need a $40 gift card, Barb, because I think I just decided to do 10, 20, 50, 75, 100. So, if, <laughs> what? You need one for 40? Because I have to do each one manually. Tim Holtz is your boyfriend, Mariana. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. I guess I turned it off. I, th I didn't think I did. Normally I glue it paper down, but I didn't this time, so I'm trying to hold it in place and sew around it. Let me just sew it around it. All right. I think what I need now is my big pair of scissors. So I can cut this in half. And I think I'm going to push this right up to the edge. And push this one down here. And then this is going to go on top like that you see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and I'll put a little glue right here a little glue up there try not to move don't move And I just realized I'm doing this on acrylic paint. So sometimes when you do acrylic paint, things don't want to stick. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the best glue ever. Put a little of that into there. That'll help it. It'll help it stick. All right, now I'm going to put some in this. I wasn't going to glue it all the way down, and then I thought, no, because you'll have to fight the doily if I made a pocket. All right. And then we'll just glue that right in the center. How's that? So there's using your calico collage image, Austin. And then I saw, did I toss it in here? I used the Believe stamp by Beeline Designs and I stamped it out earlier. And I think that would be kind of pretty. Or should it go here? Like, I think it should go up there. I'm going to put it up there. Believe. Because, you know, it's Christmas time. we got to believe. Make sure everything's going to stick. And while I'm at it, I'm pretty sure. Do I have one? Yeah. Maybe something like that. I showed these on Monday. It's a, a punch by Tim Holtz. And I used that under there. Is that kind of cool? You like it? You like it? So we haven't done anything on the inside in here. And you know, I think what I'm going to do is spray it with some Tattered Angels and a stencil. Let's do that. And let's do...
I've got this stencil. So what first I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz it really lightly. So what color do I want? I'm going to use the Peacock Turquoise and shake that up. I believe I will get coal in your stocking. <laughs> I believe. Thank you, Austin. So is, is that a kind way of saying, Linda, you do weird stuff? No. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's ta a Pam spray. It might. It just might. You'll have to give it a try. All right, let's dry that. Thank you, Mariana. <laughs> you like it, Sam? Thank you. So glad to have you here, Margie. All right, I think that's pretty dry. So I'm gonna use, this is the November Stencil Club. And I think I'm gonna use the, do I want that one? No, I'm gonna use the darker blue. So this is Peacock Blue. You put all your glue bottles upside down in a short, wide base. Good job. I don't want it too dark because this is a darker color. But I want there to be a difference. Okay. You just mop that up. And that's what the inside looks like. What do you think? Pretty simple. All right, so now I have these pages and this cover so far, and we made one of these pages earlier, and I think what I want to do is use some more gel prints to fill these areas in. So let me look to see. I've got that make a, I don't know. Let's see what else we've got here. I've got some calico collage images. Maybe we can do a, a little collage. What else? Oh, I've got these. I want to have that. Let's do something with those. <clears throat> okay. What else? We have this piece. Let's spritz this one. Let's spritz it with the purple. Christmas cheer. Thank you, Kathy, for your donation. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Lots of red, Austin. <laughs> A crime scene. <sighs> oh, well, I'm glad you saw it, uh, Naomi, so you could come hang out with this. All right, my sprayer hung up. I guess I need to change that sprayer. So what happens when you spritz it over the paint, it's going to resist a little bit. I want to grab, grab this. I didn't want that much on there. I kind of got a little heavy-handed, and the sprayer was messing up. But I like it. So now we've taken that gel print and added just a little bit more to it. Oh no! We had a squirrel on your deck? Oh no! Don't feed them! That makes them stick around! <laughs> You know, I don't mind squirrels as long as they're not on my property. Thank you, Austin, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've had too many times that squirrels have damaged our property. So, I do not encourage them around my property. I do not have food out for them. I chase them off. <laughs> now, birds, birds I can do. I don't mind birds. Apparently, we had a possum living in our shed in the backyard. We finally cleaned out the shed, and I think we've got the possum moving on. 
Thank you, Jules Journal, Journal, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. All right, I think I want to use... I'm, I keep playing around with this, and I think this is what I'm going to do. Let's cut this in half. Thank you so much, Margie, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. I hope you're liking what I'm, what I'm putting down, so to speak. I like that. Thank you, Margie. Now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fussy cut this out. See, I, I didn't want traditional Christmas colors because everybody does red and green together, but they don't do peacock stuff together now, do they? <laughs> Not normally. So I'm different. And I still think that if you prefer that more vintage look and you want to use your tea dyed papers, your old papers that look vintagey without the color that I'm using, you can do that. What do you think? I think that's kind of cute. Oh, I punched a hole in it. I think it needs something else though. Maybe what we'll do is, I've got this little color block. If I were to do maybe something like that. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with a plan now. I think this, I'm gonna rip a little bit of it to give it kind of a rough, look. You know, like it's seen better days. Okay. Yeah. And then let's put some distress ink on there. All right. How are we doing, everybody? Thank you, Tanya, for your donation. Thank you so much. Y'all, I really appreciate your support. It, it just brightens my day. I, I come here and I'm like, oh, what are we going to do today? I hope they like what I'm doing and that I, I can get through all of it. <laughs> okay, I like that. Let's put some Distress Ink over here. Maybe like that. And I think, I think I want to cut little strips out of this. So let's see, it is, let's just cut it in half. Let's cut it in half. Let's see what it looks like. Maybe I need to make it smaller. What if I, for example, use that one over here? Okay. And this one... Do we want to do it that way or this way with this? Yeah, okay, cut this in half. I know, I just come up with crazy stuff sometimes, y'all. <laughs> oh, thank you, Margie. I look forward to seeing it. Oh, yeah, I think it goes like that. That's what it needs. Thank you. I love it. Okay, are we ready? You like the vintage look I'm doing? Thank you. Blue and silver is good. Yeah, yeah. All right, is it time for the raffle? Is that why I'm hearing squirrel? <laughs> Y'all get in the raffle. And I think this one can go there. I know we covered up this page underneath, but it's just about the layers. I think the next thing I need to do is to stamp that snowflake around the edges. What do you think? And then we can put this journal together. Okay. Uh-oh, more bruises. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. Nudge, nudge. Leans over. Linda's shoulders. <laughs> stares at her desk. Poke, 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 nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. Y'all into the raffle. Y'all crack me up. Love, love, love birds. Yeah, birds are fun. All right. So, where are we? I'll be on two hours at 2.30. Do y'all want me to go for another hour? If so, then I, it changes what I do for the next uh, raffle. <laughs> Fake birds, a giant guard, turkey. Oh, how funny, Christy. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, Naomi. You're so sweet. That's cool. All right, did y'all get entered in the giveaway? All right, let's pick a winner. Sandra, Sandra. You won the Tim Holtz stickers. Congratulations. Yay. All right. So let's do. Um, oh, here we go. Who wants some lace? This a yard each. This is an eyelet. And this is kind of a nylon white lace. It has a white ribbon on the top. So let's do that. Then we'll have that as our next giveaway. Um, two yards of ivory and white lace all right so that's our next giveaway i'll give you all some lace i now have little bundles in my shop of lace so those of you that you don't want a whole bunch you just want a little bit because you want a variety well i've got a pack that has six different styles of uh, whites and ivory laces all right i think i've got a plan here so i'm going to get out the snowflake I may I don't know let's see what happens here so what I did was I printed the kit as five by seven pages maybe we'll do something I don't know. Maybe something like that. Okay. All right. So let's stamp on here. So I'm going to grab a scrap of paper. And if, if you're ever doing a project like this and you're trying to remember how did it look, you know, take your phone out and snap a picture of it and then that way if you take it all apart and you're like oh what what went where you can look at your phone and see where you need to put everything so i think what i want to do is i want to stamp on these they're kind of curling so i mean you may it may get covered up partially but it's it's there you'll see the design a little bit all right so i've got my archival ink and i've got the snow flat snowflake border again let's put that on here so it's the same concept that we did earlier but this time we're using a gel print and i'm okay if it doesn't come out with a perfect stamping because it gives it a vintage look in my opinion okay so we stamped all the way around and I think what I need to do is that's going to go down here let's lay this out all right so I'm going to put some distress inks around the edge of the sky I got the right one how do I come up with those awesome ideas? It's just playing. It's just, you know, taking a moment and don't be afraid. Just do it. Don't be afraid. Don't overthink it. Just do it. And it'll just start coming together to you. That's what I say. Just, just try it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Let's 
so this will have a little bit of journaling space but it's also just decorative and pretty I'm gonna go this way so I'm just centering it in the middle it's a darker page but that's okay all right anybody have any questions you know what, I, I go to Pinterest. I I don't watch a whole lot of videos. Um, I rarely watch a whole video because generally I can take a look at a photo and figure out how it was done. There's Sometimes I, I don't need the video. I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. And then I just figure out my own version of it. Yay! Tiger Lily won! Whoop whoop! Congratulations! Alright, so there's that piece. So we've got the arrows going in the same direction. We've got this on the outside. I think this is going to be my outside. And this is going to be my first page I see in the journal. So I'm looking at this. This here. Maybe that like this. So I think what I should do is I need to trim this piece to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to go like this. Get my bigger pair of scissors. Oh, I got a little crooked, but that's okay. We'll fix it. All right. So let's put some distress ink around this one. think I'm going to put it right about there and we'll just glue that one down. When am I doing my next class? I don't have one scheduled just yet. I was kind of waiting to see my normal group of ladies. Uh, one of them is traveling and with the Christmas holidays we don't know if we're going to do one in December or not but if you will message me and if you're, you know, wanting to come this way, well, we can we can set one up, okay? I'm going to put this right at the bottom, I think. And then I'll put that over the top of that. We've got to put some distress inks on that one. Well, thank you all for your donations today. We've reached our goal, so we're going to be raffling off. This journal that I'm making is going to have a new home. I like it. Okay, and this is going to go over here. So you kind of have a little space that you can write on. It doesn't have to be super complicated in decoration. And because I'm keeping everything flat, you'll still be able to write in the journal on the other side up here a little bit right there maybe yeah I like that what are my favorite keyword searches on Pinterest you know I don't <laughs> I will say, for example, um, Christmas journal cards or Christmas cards. And I'll just let whatever comes up come up. And then I'll just kind of scroll through it and see if there's something that sparks my interest. I'll click on it. And then because Pinterest has their algorithm that if you like this, you might like these that are below, I'll kind of scroll through those. And I end up, it's kind of a rabbit trail. And I just keep going off that. And then I'll save whatever it is. I don't even look at their tags really that much. Unless they were good enough to say blue Christmas, snowflake Christmas, peacock Christmas, you know, that kind of thing. So I have weird searches that I do. Oh, yeah. I've done that, Naomi. We've had another chat bot open. 
All right, so that's going to be the first page we see when we open the journal. And I'm now looking at this thinking, I need something on here. So I'm going to look here. I've got a pen. Let's see what it looks like. Let me get a little scrap of paper. Oh, yeah, I think if I were to get my ruler... And we're going to frame this. Yeah, that's what it needed. Do you see that? I'm just using a Sharpie. It's a gold Sharpie. So I'm just going on either side of all the things. On either side of all the things. Alright. So then we got that. And I think this piece needs to be framed. So let's go around it. You know, sometimes I could sit here and fiddle and fiddle and fiddle with the page. And sometimes I'm like, okay, it's done. I don't want anything else on there. So don't feel like there's, you know, one particular way to do it. Because I could come back in and add uh, glitter paint to the tree. And I might do that afterwards. All right, so let's put something over here. So we've got this guy and we have this piece. Now, do we want to do it? I think that's what we had planned with something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to add some distress inks to this piece. And before we glue it down, let's go ahead and put the gold around the perimeter of these two pieces. I just had a piece of paper. Uh, things disappear. I don't get it. <laughs> Designed a... I did... Dis, I don't know if I, you call it a gratitude journal per se, but I did a thankful, 30 days of thankful journal last year, and I have tutorials for a bunch of the pages, and if you go to my website, you can kind of thumb through all of the uh, 30 days of thankful. I need to go back and make sure that those are all tagged. Maybe even do a blog post that shares the link to each one type of a thing. A roundup post, maybe. Maybe that's what Robin can do. Exactly! If you're going to play in Texas, you better have a fiddle in the band. <laughs> Those lead guitars are hot. And I forgot the rest of it. <laughs> The eclectic music styles that Linda listens to. <laughs> yeah, bookmark my blog. You can log in and create an account and say subscribe to the newsletter. And then you'll get newsletters. Okay. Alrighty. Now, let's see. We're going to put this guy right here. That's going to go over the top of it. This one's going to go right there. Do I want to come this way a little bit? No, I want to go in the corner. All right, so I'm going to glue these down. Gluing them down, down, down. <coughs> what can you do? <laughs> uh, I'm giving you a job, Robin, that you write a blog post that has links to all the blog posts and or videos that I did for the 30 days of thankful because I don't think I ever really wrote a blog post that wraps it all up. You can't follow my Pinterest. Thank you, Robin, for sharing that. I don't go crazy on pinning either. The newsletters are very rare, Barb. I like once a month, I'll send out a newsletter. Uh, 
<laughs> You're craving silver with this blue. <laughs> I'm inspiring you before you go to school. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think what I'm going to do is I'll put some uh, tulip dimensional glitter paint. And that'll get that sparkle in here. I'm going to go like this. And add another little touch to it. I like it. Do you like it, y'all? Okay, I'm going to put some tulip paint on here really fast. And kind of dry it with my heat tool. And then we're going to put the uh, journal together. So I'm just kind of touching it with my finger. And spreading it out. And that's going to help that glue dry a little faster. There's snowflakes on the edges so I'm just kind of patting it. So I'm going to go in here and it's got to have glitter all over it. Just glitter it up. I like this tulip dimensional fabric paint. It dries clear but with a beautiful sparkle in it. Um, it's relatively inexpensive because it's like $3.99 for a four ounce bottle and it's just easy to use. Okay. All right. Yeah. I okay. Perfect. Robin. I figured you could do that. That'd be some. Hey, Henry. Is that my husband? I guess he's got a slow moment. He came in. Yes. Glitter. And you kind of see it starting to sparkle. I like it. Okay, this is, I'm going to take this picture so I can, uh, uh, this will be my what's on your desk today. How's that? And y'all got to see it live. So here I am taking a picture. Are you ready? I'm going to make sure I back out so I can edit it a little bit. All right. I think I got it. I get it. Okay, good. I got it. Yeah. And then you can, it spreads it out. So now the whole tree is covered. Okay. And then on the feathers. And then up here around the snowflakes and down here. Okay. All right. Enjoy school. It's still a little wet, so I'm going to heat it some more. Have an awesome day at school. Be the smartest kid in class. But don't be a smart ass. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You're following Barb. Good. Oh yeah, who has a uh, YouTube channel? Do you have a YouTube channel? I forgot to say this earlier. Let us know in the chat. You like it, Sam? Thank you. You're very cheery. So it gives you a little bit of writing space. You know, you can write dates. Maybe you can put a photo. I'm looking at, I really want, I think, that little photo printer that's, it prints the photos on sticker paper and you can just peel them off and stick them down. And I think they're like two by three in size. I think that would be a lot of fun. Thank you, Mariana. All right, so I haven't put anything on this side. So let's look in here. What do we got? We have these little Santas. Is that too much? It's kind of bright. Maybe I could put this caroler down here in the corner. That looks kind of cool. Oh, I changed my mind. Okay. So we'll put the caroler up here. And we'll put this little stocking over here. These are Beeline Design Stamps. I was showing these on Monday. That I have painted these with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And... On the stocking, I added a little bit of dimensional glitter paint. So I think that'll look good there. 
And I think this one, yeah, it's already got distress ink. So I'm, I'm not going to make them tuck spots. I'm just going to glue them down. Thank you, Mariana. You have a channel. Yep, that's right. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I have two groups on face group. I have by Linda Israel. It's a smaller group. It's great if you, you don't chat a lot, but you want to be able to pop in and ask a question about how do I do something or, hey, what do y'all think of this? Or when is Linda live? <laughs> you can check that out by Linda Israel. And then if you're really into junk journals and you want a really fun, friendly group, do check out the friendly junk journal people Facebook group. I think we are the the biggest friendliest junk journal group that you're going to find. We try to make it fun and easy. We have swaps. We have a random act of kindness list where you can go in and find people that are looking for items and send them a little gift and you can put your name up there as well. In the new year, we'll have what's called the wishing well where you can make a wish. As long as you grant a wish, you can have a wish fulfilled. Um, what else we have? You can post if you have things for sale once every 24 hours in the group. You like it, y'all? So that'll be the cover. That'll be the inside page. And then we're going to take all these pages that I made, put those with these. So this is what we're going to get for the journal. And this is our cover. So let's put this together. So this is a five by seven journal. And I think it has um, nine pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it has nine pages. <clears throat> nice win. All right. So now I'm going to bind these together, getting out my tools, gotta have the tools. I think I need to find my other templates, see if I have one already made, I think that one is, nope, I need one shorter, nope, too short. I need to find my templates. Where's my templates? Well, this one's close enough. I'm trying to get one that's about the same size as the journal that I made. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take these giant paper clips and clip this together. This journal's fluffy. Okay, I've got it centered. And let's, um, let's go ahead and bind it. The next thing we're going to do is, um, thank you. Thank you so much, Carrie. We're going to finish this raffle. And then I'm going to make some, um, let's make some journal cards with some of our gel prints that we made today. How's that sound? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. So I'm poking three holes, put my template back over there. So uh, this is my junk journal tool kit. I have these little embroider bags in my shop. I may be out. I need to check my inventory. I know I just got some more bags to embroider on. If you want something else on there, that's something we can talk about as well. Just message me through my website and I can tell you how much and how long. Okay. Oh, thank you, Tiger Lily. Thank you so much. Thank you, Giovanna. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So I am going to start in the middle. I like the blues and the purples together. I 
And I really did use junk because I used book pages for all the pages. So the bases of all those papers are just old book pages, Bible pages, dictionary pages that I have painted. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to be challenged by the people to do the 10 questions. I need to do that. Make that phone book look good. <laughs> yes, you can write in this journal. Exactly, Giovanna. What do you think? You like it? So you've got space here. You can write maybe the year and some little note. And then you've got space here to write. Then you've got this page. Okay. And I know there's a page that doesn't have something on it. So we're going to decorate that. And these are tuck spots. So my thought was, you don't need things from me. Maybe on the 8th, you get a note from somebody and you stuff that in there and you write about the day. You know, that could be a challenge that you do for yourself is make your little advent journal like this and maybe you write notes to your significant other and you swap them and you put them in here so you have a little place to store them. And this could be as fancy or as plain as you like, okay? That's what I like about doing these kind of projects. My, my glue um, stuck together so let me grab my paintbrush and I'll I'll fix it there and then just dries in just a moment <laughs> you just cover it up it's no big deal did you challenge enough don't challenge your brain anymore like it all right so now we're at 31 and I knew that there wasn't something on this page so let's look at my little basket of goodies again and let's see what we've got here I made a few no I don't think I like those I want to stick with the same color scheme oh let's do this we'll just put this guy on here He's a little Christmas ornament. Maybe we'll put him at the top. That's what we'll do. We'll glue him down. You're a mom. You're challenged enough. <laughs> yeah, I sell the um, needles in my shop. You get two of them for $5. They're a four inch long bookbinder's needle. So the whole of the eye is long, but it doesn't flare. Thank you, Giovanna, for your donation. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to put that right there. Thank you so much. Okay. And then here is the last page. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and sign it. Put my name. And that'll be the journal along with the little envelopes that we'll have in the raffle. Thank you, Jules, for your donation. So these are going to be at the end that we'll raffle off, okay? You'll have the, uh, the three envelopes and then the journal will be the big prize today. All right, so we made all these papers and y'all are like, well, what else can you do with them? I've got some journal note cards here so let's make some note cards i need some hand lotion how are we on time i think is it time for us to uh do the raffle and start the raffle for the journal coming up soon so y'all enter the raffle for the lace okay
<sighs> thankful. 30 days of thankful is what I did. Okay, so let's look here. I've got... I've got this page. Let's do something with that. And we'll do something with this one. Maybe this one. Okay. So, I've got a couple of journal cards. Note cards. So, I'm just going to fold these in half. Okay. And we've got this guy. And I bet you I could get two pieces out of that. So let's do something with this background. Let's spray it. And I think I want to use the peacock turquoise. Puck, puck, nudge, 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 nudge. All right, it's time for the raffle. All right, y'all enter the raffle. And I'm going to spray this, dry it, and pick the winner. Okay. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. I need y'all to do me a favor that have purchased stuff from my shop. I have a feature, and I don't know if it works, but I have a feature that you can put reviews of the products. So, if I still have the product in my shop and you purchased it, would y'all leave me a review? Positive reviews. <laughs> Which I think, for the most part... That's what I get when y'all tell me that you like what I do, or you wouldn't keep coming back. <laughs> Alright, I think that'll be good. Alrighty, y'all ready? Thank you, Sandra, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's do the raffle and see who is the winner today of the lace. And then what we'll do is um, those who have donated will be eligible for our last raffle. And I'll list off everybody that I see. So let me go here. Okay, so we're going to do the raffle for the lace first. And then I will mention everybody's name that has donated. And the last raffle is only for those who have donated. All right, so we're going to do this now. The winner is Maria. Ma I can't see the whole thing. Maria Del Pilar Martinez. Make sure that I have your mailing address. Use the contact me form. Uh, Junkie Joe may show that here in just a moment. So we'd love to have you. Um, Christy. Or, uh, Christy. Sandra. I saw Christy's name right above Sandra. This is the November Stencil Club. This was from the November Stencil Club. All of these. Including... Where'd it go? Where is it? I just had it. It ran away. Because I like that arrow one. What did I do with it? I was going to save it so we can scan it in. I must have put it somewhere. Because I didn't use it. Well, oh, here we go. And back here, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's one. And this is that as well. That's why I couldn't find it. This is the November Stencil Club that I used all of these stencils. And I'll scan those in after the stream. Okay, well, I got this one. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this out. Curl back the other way. I just like trimming off that excess. I don't know what I do. You can tear it. You can leave it. Whatever works for you. I just like making more trash. <laughs> you like the stencils? Well, thank you. 
Yeah, please do. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so the following people have donated, and we're going to start that raffle. Sandra, Jules, Giovanna, Tanya, Jules, Margie, Austin, Kathy, Mariana, Christy, Polly, Paper Puddles, Karen Owens, Liz, Christy again, Janice Brammer, Jennifer Smith, Crafty Blind Girl, Jen B, Lynn Lingle, Barb Dingwell, Sherry Deskins, Christy, Tiger Lily, and Robin. So, <laughs> I make you feel good, Sam, when I can't find something. <laughs> All right, we're going to reset this. And this is for donators only. Donators only. Um, we'll get, we're going to have four prizes. Four. Now, how do I want to do this? Journal. And let's get this, get this way, and in the I have to, I have to get it all worded right. Okay, donators only. I'm gonna make it sure it's all caps, so y'all know that. No. Okay, and it's going to say it's open to everybody, but it's not. That's why it says donators only twice. <laughs> open giveaway. All right, so only those that have entered the or uh, donated, you are now eligible to enter the raffle if you donated today. All right, so we went ahead, and now I'm just going to cut this in half. Because I think that would look good on there okay and Christy said I hadn't used the shabby stitches in a while so I got the shabby stitches out and let's let's shabby stitches it <laughs> all right Ink pad. <clears throat> thank you Mary Jones for your donation thank you thank you if you want a chance to win here it is all right, do like that. Okay, so that was one part. I'll do this one. Okay, got those. All right. Oh, my nose itches. Now, do I want to see if there's anything nothing really kind of sticks out so let's look at these all right so we've got these cards we've got this what if we put we've got this calico collage image maybe we can back it with something. I've got a little purple square there. That was just a little scrap I had. Maybe something like that. Maybe, maybe. We've got this one. This over here. I've got this little ornament. We could stamp the words um, Merry Christmas. I've got that stamp out. We've got the Believe stamps. Let's see what we've got here. I got a smaller Merry Christmas. So let's get a piece of paper. Um, do I have a scrap? I do. I have a little scrap. <clears throat> okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, I'm going to um, need a block. So we'll get this one. All right, I think we've got a plan. We'll take this Merry Chris, White Christmas. That's what it is, White Christmas. It's a smaller one. White Christmas. Why not? We'll stamp that. And I'll stamp it a couple of times on here. Kind of do it at the opposite ends. There. 
And then let's just cut this out. So if we were to put something like that on there, maybe. Alrighty. When is Black Friday? It's the day after Thanksgiving, which is November the 20... Ugh, I can't remember now. But if you have a subscription, you'll get a discount. If you make donations and you create a YouTube, uh, you create a membership on my website, uh, not a, a user account. God, I can't get my words out. Then I will get you added to the YouTube donator group and you can get a discount. All right, so we're liking that. Okay. I think we need to do something in the background here. So let's grab... Let's grab a Distress Oxide. And I'm thinking, let's do this blue, or should I do this lavender color? I think I want the blue. I think I want the blue. Yep, blue, 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 blue. And I'm gonna do it around this piece as well. So it'll kind of stand out on top of there. Yeah? The 28th. Okay, thank you. So it'll be November the 29th. All right. The Christmas ornaments are going to go on the tree behind me. And I'm going to award 200 junk bucks during the live streams. I'll give them to you for making it. And then at the end of the Christmas season, I will do a drawing of all of those that sent me an ornament. And y'all will get a great prize. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. It's going to be a secret. I like that. Okay. I think I'm liking that. Kind of gives a little bit of that white area there. I think we need to put some distress inks around this piece and we could adhere it down. Has everybody that donated entered the raffle? Oh, I forgot to do this piece. Okay. And I think... I think I'm just going to round the corners of this. This was a piece of paper that I sprayed with some tattered angels. Didn't use all of it, so I stuck it in my little bin so I could have it. I just used a crocodile corner chomper. Ah! Things go flying! Yes, I'm having a Black Friday sale, Sandra. Those that are subscribed to one of my kits or they have donated during YouTube are going to get a 10% discount and then there's going to be some other items on sale. Okay. All right, I like it. Yes, you can send more than one ornament. You may, you may, you may. Yeah, it can be really small because the tree is not very big. Let me show you the tree. There's there's the tree. It's not very big at all. Um, this is an ornament we made Monday, and it's uh, two and a half inches tall, I think. So it's not very big. So we may have to get creative if I get a bunch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's not there's not a lot of room. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna glue this down. I like it. 
And I may do one more thing. I think I'm going to go around this. I'm just going to make it hand drawn. Kind of a little frame. Okay, I like it. And then this guy can go right here. All right. Gotcha. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, I'd love that. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna put this in the corner. Hold that down. Yeah, there'll be a tree avalanche. Exactly right. <laughs> okay, so now I'll put that. Yep, yeah, put it up here. We'll put it in the center. <clears throat> I haven't in a couple of years put up a personal tree, but I'm thinking of doing so this year where Henry's supposed to be getting out all the decorations. I may find a small tree. I know I, I somewhere in my stuff, I have a really small tree, and I think I want to do that. No, falling over dress form, exactly. <laughs> okay. So can you see using your gel prints for your journal cards? You could make tags out of them too. <laughs> oh my goodness, Margie, you are so weird. <laughs> no, it's a sleigh bell. <laughs> You're welcome, Mala. I I just wanted to do something different than red and green. I think it's okay to use different colors. Doesn't have to be the traditional colors. We're artists. We'll do what we love. All right, I think this guy can go. Let's put him in the middle. So we'll glue this down. Oh. oh no, Barb, that's terrible. That's not good. I used to have a little tree, but I don't know where it is. So I'm hoping I can find it. If I don't, maybe that's what I'll invest in. I'll wait till uh, one of our local stores usually puts them on sale at least 50% off pretty soon. So maybe I can get a little tree to put up in our living area. Okay. You really find yourself loving it? Thank you. <sighs> Margie thought this looked like a pig's bottom. <laughs> she thought the sleigh bell. 30 years. Oh, I understand, Barb. That's terrible. Aww. All right, we'll put this right here. All right, what do you think, y'all? So we made a journal. We made the journal. There's the journal we made. I really like how it turned out. And then... We made gel prints, so I've got to get all these ready. There's several that I will end up scanning in to my computer. I really like the way that one turned out. And this one. I think that's what I'll do is I can put them together and make a page, and then I'll blow them up and make them big pages. I like that one. This one. This is from the uh, November Stencil Club this and this and this one that's a retro panel and this is the stencil that comes in the Christmas peacock thank you Robin thank you Karen 
Thank you so much. Oh, cool, Barb. I'll have to go check it out. And then that was the peacock stencil. You'll hang up a junk journal. Yep, yep. That's what we're going to win. You love the journal? Thank you. See, I know. I know. I do weird stuff. And then we made these cards. So I'll put this in my little bin. So I'm, I'm getting this all ready for the next journals I plan to make with the kit. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw. And the first three names are going to pick which one of these little envelopes that you want. And then the last person that I draw will win the journal. Okay. Thank you. I got, a, I got a mess. We're going to have to take a picture of my desk because it's so messy. <laughs> awesome, Mary Ellen. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Are we ready? Has everybody entered the raffle? I'm giving you another moment. Let's kind of look to see who's entered all right only those who have donated are eligible so if i call your name you and you did not donate you are not eligible to win so i'm going to go through the list of those who donated robin tiger lily christy sherry barb dingwell lynn jen crafty blind girl jennifer janice christy liz karen Paper Puddles, Polly, Christy again, Mariana, Kathy Lake, Austin, Felique Feline Family, Jules Journals, Tanya Vern, Giovanna, Jules Journals again, thank you, Sandra L. and Mary Jones. So if you've donated, now is the time for you to enter the raffle, and I'm going to draw. You cannot see the chat, Lynn? Um, you may have to click on, in there like a button there? Somebody have to tell me. Okay. I'm watching. I see Karen got in the raffle. I see a name in the, um, can I, and I can't remove them, so... <laughs> But thank you, Sandra, for your donation. So I see a name that's in the uh, raffle that didn't donate. So if I pick Debbie Long, you do not win. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to pick the first winner. Tell me which one do you want. Do you want uh, the teal one? The kind of green and pink one or the purple one. That's what I'm going to call this. Teal, pink, green, purple. Okay? Let me know which one you want, and then we'll pick the next winner. Jen B, which one do you want? Do you want the teal one? I guess I could show you the inside. I should do that, huh? So then you can really decide. This is the inside of that one. Okay? It has little butterfly tags. little journal card there. There's a piece of fabric here. And then this one has journal cards going like this. And these were all made by gel pr with gel prints. I have tutorials show you how I made them. Okay, and then this one, purple. All right, so she wants the purple. Jen gets the purple. I'm gonna set that aside. All right, next winner. Barb Dingwell, which one do you want? Do you want the pink and green one or do you want this teal one? This is what they look like. Okay. So I'm waiting on her to do that. I'll tie this up. Wait on her to answer, answer the question. Which one do you want? What will make your heart happy? I know I'm weird. <laughs> All right, she's still with us. 
Is she dr is Barb you still there? Barb? Barb, which one do you want? Okay. Teal, please. Yay! Okay. So, Jen got the purple one. Barb got the teal. So, the last one goes to Mariana. You won the pink and green one. Congratulations. Wait, did you donate? Yes, you did. I thought I saw your name. Yep, yep. So, you won. Congratulations. What did Barb win? Barb won the teal one. And you won this one. Congratulations. All right, so now we're going to pick the winner of the journal. And that winner is Sandra. Sandra, you won the journal. Congratulations, y'all. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you had fun. Hey, Carrie Barbara. Well, th say thanks for stopping by, Carrie Barbara. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. All righty. Well, I will be back Monday. We'll be working on a Christmas peacock on Monday. That's my plan anyway. And I hope you enjoyed seeing today's project. And you are inspired to create. Get out and create. If you have... Um, <laughs> If you have purchased items from my shop, I'd love it if you could leave a review. Uh, that would be amazing. If you have issues, let me know because I don't know if it works. That's why I'm asking. You're welcome, Giovanna. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you all for your donations. If you made a donation today and you haven't created a user account on my website, please do so because I will upload these gel prints as a freebie digital for those who donated. Okay? Yippee! You like that? Yay! You're welcome, Barb. Thank you, Crafty Boy and Girl. You're welcome. Bye, Jules Journal. Thank you so much. Yay! You're welcome, Mala. Yay! Opens you up to so many colors. That's my plan. Mmm, Christmas peacock. We usually have turkey. I understand, Marge. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood Ford Press. You're very welcome, Mariana. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. You're welcome, Tanya. Take care. Y'all, thank you so much. Good night, everybody. You're welcome, Liz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay! Bye, Carrie. Bye, Austin. <laughs> Y'all definitely check out each other and follow each other. Dude, check out the Friendly Junk Journal people. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Check out my website as well, lindaisrael.com. I am a one-person shop. I do all of this myself, and I have over 500 products in my shop right now. And I appreciate your supporting me to do the thing that I love, which is creating art. So keep it coming. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm hungry. And then uh, take some pictures and do some work, y'all. Y'all take care. Lots of love to you. Bye.